Hey guys, Soldier Sword 45 here with Mixed Up Gaming. In Damn. Let's just enjoy this music. Fuck yeah. Fucking get it down. Alright, anyway, back on track. Alright, so we're here with Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. So what is this game about? Well, as it says on the tin, uh, we're going to be doing a gender bender, which is we're playing as Yale, or I guess we got oh we got multiple characters. Okay, um, we got Yale. Uh, I guess I've never played this game, so this is episode one of my little campaign here. All right. Yale has to do an internship for his university course. Pretty lucky he managed to get one right on campus grounds. Little does he know that a freak lab accident will change his life forever. This route features male-to-male -male protagonists, one female love interest, four endings, extra transformations, and a breast expansion. Nice. Alright. And then we have Bree. Ben has been working at a lab for what seems like ages, but he is he still never got the raise he's been need, in need of. Soon a raise will be the last thing of his mind. Root faders, male to female prophylaxis, one male to two female love interests, eight endings. Alright. And then we got Lynn. Liam has been in charge of Evident Pharmaceuticals Campus Lab since its opening. Life was pretty straightforward until Derek, his roommate, his colleague, involved him in an unofficial project. After turning into a girl, Dana does, um, introduces her to a range of new transformations. She isn't content at simply being a girl. She won't stop until they're both li living in an underwater research lab. Oh. Male to male uh, protagonist. Extra transfer, including mermaid, arthro, animal ears, two female love interests, eight endings. We got Dina, so I could go on for days. We got a few to go from. Wait, what is it? Huh. Oh, so it goes from. Okay. So, male to man to female. Okay. So, we're going to start with Yale. We're going to start. Like this, okay. Okay, class, settle down. The lecturer. Wow, what a name. And now that we've covered the majority of today's content, we will be entering the lightning round. Failure to answer this question in the lightning round will result in immediate failure of this course. Yale. Um, yeah? What the fuck is this? What is a squared coherent of... Um, a levigated polapatite in the absolute tissue of a common sloth. Um, can you repeat the question? I said, what is the squared coefficient of a ligated polypiolite in the obtuse tissue of a common sloth? Well, it's a, uh, wait a minute, why the hell am I a girl? And why am I, what on earth am I wearing? Answer the question and you'll fail, yo. Uh, isn't the fact I'm suddenly a girl more, <laughs> more important than answering a silly question? This isn't important at all. The only important thing is a question. No answer it or you fail! I'm so confused. I don't understand what's going on. Time's up, yo. You'll fail university. No! I, I can't fail. This isn't fair. At least, can I try another question? Nope, you only get one shot at the lightning round. Now get out of this class. Dun dun dun. No, I. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Ah. Uh, what the hell is up with that dream? I was a girl with massive, boo massive boobs, and I was wearing the world's most ridiculous outfit. 
Damn, that's the last time I stay up till 3 a.m. reading that Valkyrie webcomic. Ah, I'm never doing that again. What the fuck is... Okay. Um, this is gonna be a very con um, controversial playthrough. Uh, I'm not for or against anything like this. I am not stating that, you know, we're not making a political statement. We're just playing a fucking video game. My name is Yale, and I'm 19 years old. I'm a university student, as you can tell by the one pile of clothes in the entire fucking clean-ass bedroom. And apart from those crazy dreams, I'm a pretty average guy. I'm currently this first year of the anniversary. University, pardon. And I'm studying for a science degree. I'm also single, so that kind of sucks. But overall, things in my life are doing pretty good. Alright. Limitless. Limitless. Okay. He has his two of the same posters and bunny ears. Battle bunnies. Oh, okay. Eh, huh. Well, I guess I better get head to class. No point overthinking that dream any longer. Alright. Make stuff up. Did you see that? Alright. It's 9 a.m. So we'll be getting today's lecture. We'll be focusing today's you know, lecture on the role of ribosomes. Make stuff up. Set stuff up. Try things out. Write down your results. <laughs> science! Yes, science. How to make stuff up. <laughs> Mr. Anders. Okay, then. One of the, uh, the subjects I'm studying this year is bio... Mystery? It's not a politically... It's not a particularly difficult class, but the amount of paperwork he gets into is fucking insane. I'm not uh, exactly the best at keeping the top of my assignments. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, well, I'm still managing to pass everything. That's what matters. Contemplative dots. And that concludes today's lecture. Man, that was a fucking quick-ass lecture. Uh, make sure you module questions 3 through 7 tonight as I'll be quizzing you on the answers in the next lecture. What does that say on his... Science? Okay. It's like has something crossed out there. Science. Anyway, failure to answer the question will resort 1% demerit from your final grade. That'll be all. That lecture was probably the most boring thing I've ever sat through, and maybe, and I actually preferred the dream lecture I had this morning, because at least that would have been eventful. Okay. Weird. And we got statues of women. Uh, very interesting. Yeah. Well, that was awful, and I didn't, and I, and I even have homework, too. Uh, such a waste of time. It's not like that stuff will be in the final exam anyway. It's just an excuse to make us show up for class. Ah, well. At least all of today's lectures are out of the way, and I've just got to make it through work this afternoon, and I'm home free. Yay, work. That's always fun. One of my mandatory subjects this year is workplace studies and requires students to spend one afternoon a week in the workforce. Okay. Oh. There's... His nipple lights on that statue. I hope that doesn't get us banned and fucked. We are meant to do that for the entirety of the course in order to get a feel for the working world. We get paid minimum wage and we mostly have to do entry level jobs, which is a massive pain in the ass. For the past few weeks, I've been spending every Thursday, uh, Tuesday and Thursday working at Abilden Laboratories, a scientific research firm on the university campus. As a research lab owned by the big drug company or something, they worked out a deal with the university that let them build their lab here in condition that they take on student trainees every semester. And guess who was the lucky student that was chosen to work with them this semester? That is an amazing pair of tr trees back there. They mostly... I'm getting fucking distracted. Mostly, they, they make me do dr grunt work while I'm there, like cleaning benches or putting away unused equipment. I don't even get to touch any of the computers. It's like mm, they think I'm an idiot or something. Well, you are, but anyway. At least I'm being paid. That's my attitude with everything. Like usual, I made my way across campus to the lab. I took my time getting there because I wasn't in a particular hurry to start working. You know... <sighs> never mind. We make it happen with science! Science, science, you're a science man! Science, Liam, science. You are Yale, you're late. 
Yeah, sorry about that. You've been late an awful lot recently. Yeah, yeah. Don't let it happen again, okay? Yeah, it won't. Yeah, bullshit. Whenever anybody says that, yeah. <laughs> My supervisor is a tall guy called Liam. He's doing a research on a bunch of diseases or something. I'm not particularly sure, but he what he's doing, and he, and he could be researching male pattern baldness for all I know. I've been turning out a lot. I've been tuning out a lot. Okay. As I care, you know, all I care about is I have to do this job for my degree, and, I, and I'm getting paid for it. The fine details of everything else does not matter to me. Like, Liam Derrick has a Make It Happen With Science poster on his wall. Ooh. No, what? No peeking? With a freaking crosshairs? What? Like usual, I sat in my regular work schedule. Settled into my new normal work schedule. Labeling test tubes, pushing buttons on machines, nothing overly complicated. People would ask me to do something, then I'd do it as simple as that. It was incredibly boring, and I absolutely hated every second of it. I tried to do as little work as possible, so I didn't go insane from it all. As I was cleaning up some Brea beakers when I was approached by Liam again, for whatever reason, everyone around me had started working really frantically, like they had all a determined look on their face. Well, because there's a fucking supervisor that pays them walking in, of course they're going to work hard. It looked like I was uh, oh, I was going to be able to coast today after all. Hey, Yale, can you come over here a minute? Yeah. I need you to weigh out these tubes and then load them into the country bridge for me? Fuge? Oh, centrifuge for me. I need you to make sure that both sides of the centrifuge have the exact same amount of weight on them. If you, yeah, so you'll have to add a tube full of water to balance them out. Use these scales and let me know when you're finished so I can come check them before I start the machine. You got all that? Um, yeah, I think so. Thanks. If you need help, don't hesitate to ask someone. It's great. More boring stuff to do. I sucked at keeping it all. I suck that I kept giving all these useless jobs, but I guess it was to be expected. I wasn't an actual employee, I was just a kid here to work on a work experience. This isn't exactly an important job or anything, should I really bother putting any effort into this? It's not like they care whether I do a good job or anything. I'm kind of tempted not to even bother with this. Hmm. Okay, so we got, uh, we got some choices here, okay. So this is different. Uh, let's focus on the task at hand. Actually, I better do this properly. This job might be boring, but at least I'm getting paid to work here. That's my attitude with everything, by the way. Uh, you know. Like this channel. This channel is awfully boring right now. Like, I'm, we gotta make it happen with science! Yes! I'm gonna get Minx on the phone and we're gonna do some science. Yes, yes. It'd be really shitty if I got fired and I had to take my work experience as a course again next year. And who knows where this stupid university will end up sending me. Maybe I should end up working on a farm or something. <laughs> Equally awful. Alright, let's do this. Despite my best intentions, things didn't work out that well. After a few minutes of weighing out the test tubes, I got really, really bored. So I loaded up some music on my phone and listened to it while I worked. My music was pretty distracting, and I, and I spent a fair bit of time suffering through my song library instead of paying attention. But I was able to get everything done. It was... I was a bit worried that I might have screwed up some of my measurements, but I managed to get everything weighed out and loaded into the centrifuge by the time Liam got back. Sorry it took so long, Yale. Is the work finished? Yep. I did that ages ago. Good. Give me a second to check it. Yeah, it seems fine to me. There's an even number of tubes on each side of the centrifuge, and we're not snow showing any balancing errors. Looks like we're ready, finally ready to mix the reagents. Good work, Yale. Thanks. You're free to have a short break if you like. Just be back in here in 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back in time. Well, you weren't last time. Just keep an eye on your watch, okay? We have a lot of work to do today. Don't worry, I'll remember. Well, okay then, I'll trust you this time. Yeah, I'd never do that. I packed up my stuff, and then I, uh, ready to go outside. I figured I'd sit under a tree or something for a half an hour. Nah, that's not 20 minutes! Maybe I'd pay some more games on my phone. P 
pay some games on my phone. What am I, fucking Irish? They didn't need me here, and I don't think Liam cared at all him, uh, that much about me taking longer lunch breaks. Alright. As I left the lab, I heard a whirr of a centrifuge starting up behind me. It was a big machine that made a lot of noise, and it had been giving me a headache on numerous occasions in the past. Like usual, the machine became rapidly louder and louder, and the sound of everyone working in the lab was completely drowned out by its monstrous whirring noises. For some reason, the machine sounded even louder today. I could already feel my ears hurting, and I was halfway out the lab. I was glad I wasn't standing next to it right now. Alright. Alright, I can see it. As I reached for the exit door, I heard something yelling at the top of their lungs. Everyone get down! And then all of a sudden, there was a loud crash. And then there was an explosion. That was extremely loud, so I really, really, really hope I didn't just kill everybody's fucking eardrums. A huge wave of smoke completely engulfed me and covering my body and blackening my vision. A few seconds later, I felt this incredibly strange sensation in my stomach, like my body was on fire. And it was getting stronger with every passing second. The burning sensation ramped up intensity and spread throughout the rest of my body. Every part of my body hurt, and my crotch and chest were hurting the most. I felt like I was on fire down there, and my chest ached like crazy. And there was a huge bowl of build up of pressure forming inside my chest. Like there was something inside of me that was trying to push itself outwards. Yeah, there is. It's called boobs. The pain wouldn't stop there. My crotch began to hurt more and more. And I began to feel the strangest feeling. It was the opposite sensation of what I've been experiencing in my chest. If the parts of my body were being sucked inwards rather than being pushed out. My nipples also began throbbing in pain, and the pressure in my chest began to slowly subside as I felt my chest put outward. My waist was stretching and pushing outwards as well, and my rib cage hurt like hell. The pain was worse than anything ever ex experienced, and I couldn't even run away. I was immobilized. The pain was so intense that I could barely bring myself to stand, let alone move myself to someplace safe where I couldn't be affected by the weird body-changing smoke. After what felt like an hour of agonizing pain, uh, it finally began to despite. As I regained control of my body, I, I leant forward to catch my breath, but I did so, hair draped over my face. Which is weird, because my hair was normally short. Had the explosion made my hair longer? Upon closer inspection, it became clear that my hair wasn't the only thing that had changed. What the hell? Yeah. I would have that same fucking reaction. Why is my voice so high? And why are my hands so small? They almost look like a girl's hands. Not he Quick and firm the obvious. It was gone. <laughs> For some ridiculous reason, that explosion had turned me into a girl. Holy crap! B -b boobs That's exactly what I'd do. Boobs! I'm a girl. Wait, but why? I didn't get it. This didn't make any sense at all. It was that was an explosion, a big loud explosion with lots of smoke and demolished half the lab. I could have been killed or wounded me. Not cause my gender to spontaneously change. What the hell is going on? I turned into a cute girl with long brown hair and a big pair of boobs on my chest. My body had become physically smaller and I had big curvy waist and a super smooth skin. On top of all that, I was barely fitting in my clothes anymore. Damn, girl. It didn't make sense. I was feeling pretty freaked out and embarrassed. Was this meant I was meant to be a guy, not some cute brunette? I needed to undo this as soon as possible. And find a bra, that'd help too. And a tampon and a few other things. I decided that I would find Liam or Derek, as they were the two head researchers here. Surely they would know how to happened at the blast, and know a way to change me back to normal. I mean, they're scientists, right? They had to know how to fix this. I tried to walk back into the lab and demand an explanation, but this proved more difficult than I initially anticipated. 
My shape had changed dramatically and my sense of balance was completely different. And I had difficulty walking the first few steps without losing my balance and having to grab something to steady myself. You would think walking like a girl would be easy, but this sudden change in center of gravity had really thrown me. Walking back to the lab was almost a nightmare. When I finally entered the lab, I noticed I wasn't alone in my ordeal. Oh, great. All the people who had just been men moments before had transformed them into vulparous women. Not a single person left was unaffected. One of the girls was really short but had an enormous pair of breasts. And they were way out of proportion for the rest of her body. Another girl was short, cute, but had green, um, bright green, unnatural hair that did not look anything like normal hair should. This was not good. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave it there. Like, favorite, subscribe if you did enjoy. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you're really liking this because this is fucking insane so far. Uh... Like I said, I, I'm really interested in seeing where this game goes and the endings I get and such things. But anyway, um, like, favorite, subscribe if you did enjoy, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace out!